Hey everybody, this is Carl Truman. I'm at the wonderful and uh, soon to be gone Thunder Sky Gallery. I'm here for Robert McFate's show about uh, Highway 127. We're in the midst of uh, the pandemic. Hopefully by the time we see this, we're in a better spot with that. And I've been asked to talk about this man right here, Billy Dean Anderson. He grew up on the border of Tennessee and Kentucky and is known for many things. Uh, probably the thing Robert was most excited about when he shared with me first is that this guy was on the FBI watch list or wanted list for the longest period of time out of anyone in history. Uh, his first crime was robbing all the, all the patrons of a drive-in. Uh, he lived from 1934 to 1979. After his uh, crime spree started, he spent years living in rural Tennessee wilderness. Uh, he had a cave he spent a lot of time in. He would uh, get by on a charity of local bootleggers and moonshiners and kind of took on a folk hero type persona, like a Johnny Appleseed, but he robbed drive-ins and shot at cops instead of planting trees. Um, he was shot in the back while leaving his mother's home, and that's how he died. Uh, after Billy Dean Williams passed away, the authorities eventually found his cave where he had spent many hours painting, and he was very into uh, Jesus, but Jesus was very swole, just giant muscles, very yoked up. Um, there may have been a prison escape too. Uh, with folklore, you never really know where the truth ends and the myth begins. Billy, Billy Dean Anderson is definitely in that area of uh, mythology, uh, in Americana. But his portrait, uh, done by Robert with a bullet and a bullet casing, uh, framing his portrait, the wood is split. Uh, Robert had mentioned that splitting the wood was a good way of kind of the, the haphazard nature that Billy Lid manifesting in the artwork. So it's here, it's uh, on the southern wall of Thunder Sky, the beloved and already missed Thunder Sky. It's not closed yet, but it's going, going, gone. Uh, happy 4th of July, and uh, 